How's it going guys? Today I'm gonna compare the Galaxy S21 versus the Pixel 6 Pro. Currently the case I have on right now is the, well, on both phones right now is the speaking thin fit. All right, let's do a quick microphone test. Testing one, two, one, two. This is how it sounds like on a Galaxy S21. Testing one, two, one, two. This is how it sounds like on a Pixel 6 Pro. So the food adventure continues and I've had not had a bowl of foot in a very long time. From the looks of it, there's only two in Jersey that I can get to. One of them looked really upscale and the other one looked a lot more authentic. So that's the one I decided to go to. Today's video is sponsored by Mountain Bow. They're known to make super stretchy and comfortable jeans and they actually sent me a pair to try out. The one I picked out is called the broom version with the four-way stretch, which is super stretchy. After a couple days of using them, it's true, I can say that it's super comfortable and stretchy, but I can say it's just too stretchy. I like everything about them, but for me personally, since I do work and carry a lot of phones, the waist area is of course stretchy so therefore I feel like the pants are sagging down and that is just a personal thing because things like these when I'm working I got like three phones on me along with my wallet my keys and my airpods so that's a lot of weight on my waist on those days I know I'm gonna have to wear a belt but casually on other days where I just have my phone wallet and keys that's not gonna be a problem let's take some portrait pictures around here and of course see how these shoes look like and also how the portion mode compare. If you guys are interested, I do have the link to the website below along with my discount code. finished the food and my cravings are all gone. I just remembered Krispy Kreme is doing or making limited time Halloween donuts. So I'm gonna go there, grab some before I head home. You guys know that I use external microphones for these videos. And what I realized on a Pixel is that every time when I exit the camera app and go back in, it manually resets to the onboard microphone. So that is super annoying and I hope that Pixel can fix this in a firmware update. Anyways, I'm here at Krispy Kreme. I'm gonna grab donuts and head home.
made it back home and now I'm going to give you my thoughts on using these two phones side by side. The biggest difference right away is the ultra wide angle lens. On the Samsung S21, definitely is much wider than the Pixel. There is a pro and con to this, some people might want that ultra wide look and it does look more epic when you're shooting up in um, the buildings or just grabbing environmental stuff. Whereas on a Pixel, yeah, it's not as wide, but at least when you're shooting human subjects, it doesn't elongate them and make them look super skinny or super long. So in my opinion, I feel like the Samsung phone does a lot better grabbing the whole environment, grabbing the whole scenery, whereas on a Pixel, it's more of a human shooter. If you're shooting a lot of your, your children, your um, family gatherings, or just people in general, I would say Pixel will portray that much better. And then I tried out one of the motion modes on the Pixel. It's definitely a mode where you don't use it every day or every time, but when you're in that moment and you see the opportunity, I feel like it's a pretty cool moment to take. And I tried it with the Samsung, definitely you can see some motion blur, but it's not as extreme or how people will like it, or I think people will like it on the Pixel. But anyways, what do you think about these camera samples? Do you think Pixel stepped up the game with their new sensor? and let me know if you're planning to still get the Pixel 6. If you want to see more comparisons, of course I'll be doing some more, so make sure to come back and see them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later.